With your particle system complete, most of the work is now done. However, the last thing we need to do is get our particle system alive and working in our level. So what I'm going to do is, here inside of our little demo level that we've put together, I'm going to pick on some machine. Let's say this really weird liquid machine over here. We're going to light this thing on fire. Now to do this, let me jump into the content browser. And here's our little PS Fire particle system. I'm going to slide the content browser kind of out of the way. We'll navigate right up here to the top of this thing, and I can just drag and drop, and we get the particle system. It really is that easy. So I can close out the content browser. If we switch over to real-time mode, you see that we have fire. In this case, our fire is pretty small, so don't be afraid to scale this up by using the draw scale fields down at the bottom of the screen in the console bar. If I set this up to three, we have three times as much fire. Now that's a whole lot of fire. Maybe we should pull that back down. Got a little bit ahead of myself. Now currently, you'll notice that I can't select your, uh, my fire. So make sure that you select right on the icon. Or you can come up here and make sure that Allow Translucent Selection is active. And then you can actually click right on the flames themselves. So either way, just be aware of that setting. All right, now let's pull this down. Maybe 1.5. That's pretty good, but maybe a little more. I don't know. I, let's say two. Two will work. And we'll pull that down just a little bit. And if we deselect, it almost looks like there's some fire there. We're getting a nice ripple effect in the background, some cool stuff. But it's not complete, because with an effect like this, the particles are really only part of the whole solution. You need some lighting as well. So... To keep things simple, what I'm going to do is just hold down the L key and drop down a new light. Now, if you really wanted to be hardcore about this, uh, you could create a light and animate it with uh, matinee so that it kind of flickered a little bit and the, the intensity of it went up and down. We're not going to go that far. But you could, and it would look pretty nice. Let's open up the properties of this light. Uh, let's see. Let's go under light, light component. We'll start off with the point light component. And let's pull the radius back to, say, oh, I don't know, 720 too big? Maybe just 256. I think that'll work for now. Then we'll come up to Light Component, take the brightness and kick that up to 2, and then take the light color, and we'll make this a nice bright shade of orange. In fact, it might kick that brightness up even more. There we go, so something kind of like so. That uh, might be too bright. So let's pull that back down to two. Just so we can still see our particles. Now, at this point, we would have lighting, we would have some particles, but even then, something would be missing. So what I'm going to do, even though we need to rebuild our lighting, if I come over here and get close to our fire, can you tell what's missing? We can't hear it. you got to be able to hear fire. So let me go back into the content browser. And let's search through all of our assets. I want you to search for fire small. And included with UDK, you've got a couple of sound effects that sound like fire. Now, to me, these both sound pretty much alike. Just some nice flickering sound. Now, with that selected, I'm going to right-click here on the ground, choose Add Actor, and we'll just grab an ambient sound simple. And it really doesn't like to be moved. Isn't that great? We'll put that right in the middle of our fire and then open up its properties. And let's adjust its radii just a little bit. So underneath ambient properties, we've got our radius min and radius max. Let's set radius min to about 512 and our radius max to about 720, just for the sake of example. So now if we test out the level, we can hear the fire. And as we move away from it, the fire gets quieter. And you could tweak the overall radii and volume of that sound effect. You could also tweak your lighting and rebuild it. This is really just an example to show you that your particles alone will often not get the entire job done. So be ready to add in other elements like sound and lights as well. That is going to wrap things up for this video, though. Thanks a lot. <laughs>